Hello everyone, this is the Tarot Queen Jamila. <clears throat> Excuse me, I'm here to do the uh, May Love reading, May 2016 reading for the Sagittarius. And uh, I'm going to do this a little different because this is a six card spread. Um, we're going to look at your subconscious, what you need to know, um, your sexual... Um, connection with this person, your sexual chemistry, what it will be like, um, your emotional connection, your surrounding environment, is it long term, and the outcome. So that'll be like a, the close for the month, or this cycle for the Sagittarius. Um, make sure that you subscribe. I do have a 3,000 subscriber giveaway coming up. And so, also make sure you thumbs up this video. I appreciate it. Thank you. If you want a personalized reading, um, the link is in the video description box. Um, it's, this reading may not resonate with everyone, so I do recommend a personal reading. Okay. Um, card number one, Sagittarius, you got temperance. She's always reminding you of patience and the fact that it takes patience or that sometimes it takes patience to, you know, achieve the, the uh, balance that you want. Um, it is a major arcana, so whenever I see temperance, um, I see angels. So, I think that the angels are trying to make a major impact on your life right now. Um, as far as the person, um, to tell you what they would be like from card number one, I do sense the person is coming in and they just seem like a very patient person. Um, your sexual chemistry, you did get the five of cups. So what this means for some, um, <clears throat> if you're single, okay, you have got to stop um, worrying about the negative. Don't focus so much on the negative. The Five of Cups is where you're kind of crying over spilled milk. Um, this is a this is not a good emotion. Um, this is conflict because it's a number five, but it's like an emotional conflict. If you look at the illustration of this card, there's three cups that are spilled. There's a rose where the three cups are spilled, which is basically, you know, mourning the cups, <laughs> uh, which it's really not that deep, but this person that's yelling, um, you know, and standing over them, they just can't, you know, see that there's two cups remaining, and you can just sort of build off of that, so whatever you lost, you know, you know, you still have the two cups left, okay, um, I think what this means for, as far as, um, if you're, you know, in currently involved with someone, um, I think that, you know, this could either be, um, the so for this to be the, the sexual chemistry, it's a little confusing. Um, there's definitely some conflicted emotions with this person is what I'm getting with this card. And... I don't know, this person might be extra emotional. Or it might mean that, you know, the chemistry is, um, mm, I would say, com I would say the chemistry is probably, there's some conflict in the chemistry, is what I'm saying. Yeah, I would say that um, for the month of May, if you're single, you know, that there may be someone where at first, you know, there's some conflicting 
um, sexual energies. Um, if you're already involved, it seems to be there's you know some kind of conflict that is interfering, you know, with that energy. And it you know it could be the same way if you're single, you know, you could still be doing the same thing. So. Um, the emotional connection, <clears throat> you got the Ace of Swords, so it's going to be a quick emotional connection with this person. I'd say the, the emotional connection is going to be stronger than the sexual chem. I mean, the sexual chemistry is definitely there with the Five of Cups because it's a lot of emotions. Um, but then the Ace of Swords... It's sort of like a new beginning. So if you're already involved with someone, um, there's a new beginning, some sort of victory, something that you over you overcame, and you're you're um, you're making a fresh start. And so, and I would say for if you're single, it's the same thing. You know, this the ace indicates newness, and so this just indicates that this is the beginning of something. Um, also, hope and victory, and um, okay, so your surrounding influences, your external influences, you did get the justice card. So, um, what I'm seeing is a lot of things are coming around in your favor right now and it's a major it's it's gonna have a major impact on your love life uh which will definitely be good because it'll free up you know a lot of the stress i think that by getting this justice card um the five of cups definitely makes sense because if there's something going on it could definitely interfere with the sexual connection or it could increase it you know, just depends when people are going through stress, they feel, you know, they react to things, they react to sex differently. But with the external influences being the justice, this is, you know, you getting fairness. This is about karma and, you know, karma turning around in your favor. So that's pretty good. And um, will it have long term potential? Um, I don't think so. I'm just going to be honest with you because you got the death card and I'm, I'm, I could be wrong. Okay. Um, but I think the death card symbolizing transformation, it just kind of seems like to get this card as, you know, in, in this position. I kind of get the sense that the relationship is going to be more so a um, kind of like a stepping stone or like, you know, practice or something. I don't really feel as though um, it's long term. It's kind of like, I don't think it's going to be, if you're, okay, let me just put it like this. If you're single and you meet someone, I don't think it's going to be long term. If you're already involved with someone and there's issues, then there's a transformation. So this is good news for people that are involved with someone. And this card is kind of bad news for people that are not. So um, your final card is the Eight of Pentacles. So um, this is you using alchemy to create what you want. And so with this death card, I'm going to say for um, both single and involved to get this card, I think that um, it could have a positive outcome. I don't necessarily think that if you meet someone new that it will be um, because, of the death, because of the death card showing up in this position. Um, but I think if you're already involved with someone... You know, it can definitely go there. Now, the Eight of Coins is about abundance and, you know, putting creative energies to good use. And, you know, so I do see um, you using, you know, the energy or just, just using the lessons that you learned um, from this person. Okay, if you're single, 
you know, you'll use this and you'll apply it <clears throat> to create. If you look at the, the illustration, um, you can't really tell if looks like the pentacles are coming in through the fireplace and then they once they go through the fire they come out you know as these little sun coins so I think this card is very symbolic of you know um, obtaining a goal through hard work okay so that's what it means by you know sort of this manifestation of these sun coins So I would say um, what the cards will be telling you this month um, for the Sagittarius would be, um, you know, creating your own reality or creating your own um, vision, you know, or I would just say creating your own reality. You know, I think that's what. This is saying, you know, I definitely do see a transformation, you know, with the death card. You know, I do see that as a positive thing. Um, but, I, I mean, I just, just to get this card, to be honest, this five of cups, I just think that initially there's going to be some emotional things that are going to need to be worked out, um, you know, before you can have a good... Uh, sexual connection because the five of cups is a terrible card to get right here so um that's gonna do it you guys if you want a personal reading my website is in the video description box make sure you thumbs up this video leave a comment and subscribe and i'll see y'all later bye